Welcome everyone to another unboxing video. This time we are taking a look at Dino Smasher's Fury. It's a stretch that came out alongside the previous one I did, which was Machine Reactor. This one here is also a first edition, as you can tell right there. So yeah, let's get right down to it. So the very back side of it, uh, there's the entire list real quick before I open this up. So this one here has a fantastic boss monster slash cover monster, which is this one right here. I'm going to get into that in just a little bit. I'm sure a lot of you already know what the name of it is, but um, in case you don't, I'm not going to spoil it until I actually get to, you know what, open it from here, to the actual, you know, cars themselves. So, but yeah, it's a fantastic car. Fantastic. All right, let me go ahead and just rip it open like this, I suppose. It's always sort of a challenge to do this, you know. Okay, go ahead and do that. And then there we go. That's it for that. We get rid of that right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the playmat first. That's one thing I always like to showcase. Pendulum zones, as you can see, it's not Master Rule 4. That's how it looks right there. So, yeah. Okay. And then we have in the back, my back. The back here, the tips are on the left, which I don't go over. And on the right, they're recommending Duelist Saga, um, Fusion and Forces at the bottom, Raging Tempest, and an Invasion Vengeance. Okay. Not bad, right? Then over here, this is the beginner's guide, which I'm not going to go over. And then lastly, the cars themselves. So, why did I put this one in the front and not the other one? Well, that's weird. Alright, so let's go ahead and open this up. The point is right here. Alright, let's do this. Okay. So here we go. Let's start with the very first one. Petite Ranodon. Petite Ranodon. It's a level 2 dinosaur. If this card is disturbed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, special summon one level 4 or higher dinosaur type monster from your deck, but it cannot attack this turn. Interesting, right? Well, there's your ultra rare. There's one ultra rare. That's cool, right? Okay, so here's the one that should have been in the front. I don't know why they didn't put it in the front, but okay. This is a fantastic card. Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. 3500 attack, oh my god. Cannot be normal summoner set. You must first be special summoner from your hand by banishing two dinosaur type monsters from your graveyard. Once per turn during either player's main phase, you can destroy one monster in your hand or field, and if you do, change all face up monsters your opponent controls to face down defense position. This card can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. At the start of the damage step, if this card attacks a defense position monster, you can inflict 1000 damage to your opponent, and if you do, send that defense position monster to the graveyard. Crazy. Crazy card. Really good special summoning condition to just get it on the field. Um, and then honestly good effects, you know, to just send cards into defense. But obviously it won't work on link monsters, which is a little unfortunate, but that's the one thing that does counter it fairly well, the fact that there are link monsters. But man, this thing is honestly amazing. I'm gonna put that in that one goes in the middle. Okay. Then we have Soul Eating Oviraptor. Okay, I'm not gonna read these here. But there you go. Good card. It's also good for a level 4 in terms of stats. So, yeah. There's that one. And then we got Lost World. This one here is a field spell. And it's a much better version than Jurassic World. So, just saying, you know. But, yeah. It's cool. And then the last one is Survival's End. This one's a normal trap card. All right. Well, there we go. So the deck focuses on also primarily just high attack monsters. I mean, dinosaurs just innately have a really high attack stat or high stats. So we're going to start with this one, the Megalo Smasher X. It's a 2,000 attack level 4 monster, as you can see. So that's definitely cool, right? And we got a Saber Saurus as well. It's a 1,900 attacker. So they give you two powerful um, just vanilla monsters, which is a pretty good thing. So this happened again, Super Conductor Tyranno. I was just talking about this in the last video, actually. But this one was the cover card for um, Dinosaur's Rage, which came out back in like 2005. And now it's a common card, but it was a pretty good for the time. 3300 attack, more than blue eyes, you know, and no negative effects. Once per turn, you contribute one monster and flee 1000 damage to your opponent. And this card cannot declare an attack if you activate that effect this turn. But yeah, really good. Honestly, really good. 
Then we got Ultimate Tyranno. So as you can see, they kind of combine these names here to make Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. I'm surprised it wasn't a fusion monster of these two. <laughs> you know, just by the looks of it in terms of the name and how it looks. Super Ancient Dino Beast. Okay. Sauropod Brockian. Tyranno Infinity, that's a high powered one. Black Brachios. Miracle Jurassic Egg. Gillosaurus. Baby Cerasaurus. Miscellaneosaurus. That one's actually one of the better ones um, for a while. It did actually find itself on the. Was it the Forbidden list, I think? Or maybe it was the Limited? But yeah, it was <clears throat> pretty crazy in some ways, but a lot of people have said that it should have been removed a long time ago. Evil Swarm Salamandra. Stego Cyber. Triforce Ops. And then Skelosaurus. So. Oh, one more. No, two more, sorry. Chubo, and I forgot about this one. Oh my god. This thing is so funny and cute how it looks. Flip, special summon. Three Chibo Jr. tokens to your opponent's field. And oh my god. In defense position. And then you get a random rescue rabbit as well. So. Pretty cool. Then for this, so this card is actually really good. Fossil Dig says add a one level six or lower dinosaur time monster from your deck to your hand. <clears throat> it's technically better than a reinforcement of the army. But it's not limited because there's so few good targets um, as opposed to warriors, you know? That's why. Big Evolution Pill. Twin Twisters, that's a good one there to have. Barrel from a different dimension, also good. Swords of Concealing Light. Painful Decision. Unexpected Die. And Terraforming. So, lots of good normal monster support, as you can see. But these are your cards. The ones that really stand out here would be Fossil Dig for Dinosaurs, Twin Twisters. Burial and terraforming as always, although you can get terraforming so easily now, but I mean, it's cool that it's there regardless, right? And lastly, you get your trap cards. So you get survival of the fittest, fossil excavation, extinction on schedule. I would do my trio, nightmare archfiends, quaking mirror force, grand horn of heaven, and secret blast. So let me take a look at, um, what is Quaking Mirror Force? I always forget which one is which. When opponent's monster declares an attack, change all attack position monsters your opponent controls to face on defense position. Monsters change to face on defense position, but the effect cannot change your battle positions. That's true, so you can just leave them there and they can never flip up. Damn. Grand Horn of Heaven. And then Secret Blast. Cool. And then uh, lastly, we get um, a token. Jura Egg. Jura Egg Token. Okay, that's cool to get a token, right? And then, I didn't mention this, but they actually put an extra copy of Megalo Smasher and Sabersaurus on the very back. So you actually get two of each for a total of four normal monsters with high attack. So, yeah. That's about it for the deck. As you can see, it's it's pretty cool. Um, it does net you a lot of great dinosaur support, and overall the deck is a lot better than Dinosaur's Rage, but that's expected, of course, you know? Uh, yeah, so, if you haven't... Um, already done so already make sure to leave a like a comment and subscribe and as always i will see you all in the next one bye bye everyone have a great and of course a fantastic day